Hello everyone and welcome back to another review episode. In this video, as it is the Halloween season, I'll be starting my three part analysis series on the supernatural genre. And what better way to begin than with Supernatural, the iconic show that defines this genre. In this video, I'll be doing an overarching analysis of this 15 season long run series that has created a massive fan base along its run. While it was just a story that has started with one simple premise two brothers hunting monsters and demons on the road. Before we dive in, make sure they are subscribed and are up to date on all my latest content. And now, without further ado, let's explore Supernatural. Chapter 1 A Story of Two Brothers Supernatural has always been a story of two brothers, carrying the trauma of losing their mother at a young age and having to become adults earlier than one might like to survive in a world full of monsters. Amidst the story of losing their innocence, the one light that carried both brothers was the brotherly love for one another. No matter their differences and disagreements, they would be there for one another, always fighting by each other's side until the very end. Their brotherly bond has always been a key message that the series has instilled since the pilot. Two brothers who had reunited after several years apart on the road fighting monsters and demons along the way. While their enemies can view their familial connection as weakness, their love for each other has always been their greatest strength. It is the light that has always carried the series forward amidst all the darkness that surrounds their world. Over its 15th season, their love would be tested in many ways, sometimes fracturing their powerful relationship. From the time Dean made a one-way choice to make a deal with a crossroads demon for his soul in hell to resurrect Sam, to the separation they faced when Sam decided to give up his career as a hunter while Dean was trapped in purgatory. In each instance, they would always come back to each other, forgiving the mistakes they had made even if they took a little bit longer to heal. Their brotherly bond carried the series all the way until the very end when Dean was killed by a vampire. Yet they would be reunited in heaven showcasing how they finally found peace together as brothers after all the hurt they had faced. Chapter 2 The Families You Create Along The Way The main theme of Supernatural has always been the importance of family. The series started with the loss in a family but as the series went on, the Winchester's brothers formed a massive connection with many, creating new families along the way. Being a hunter can at times be a lonely job. Having any sort of familial relationship could endanger you or your loved ones, knowing what is truly out there in the world. Finding a family that understands and accepts what you do as a hunter is very hard. But the Winchesters through its 15 seasons have accumulated numerous everlasting connections with people they encounter. From someone who became the closest thing to a father to the brothers, Bobby, to the Harvells, from someone the brothers shared a sisterly connection with, Charlie, and Rowena, to especially the brothers' angel brother, Castiel, they became part of their family. Even when the brothers had to watch them sacrifice or get killed in doing what they had loved, hunting, their connection with each other has been a tether that has no bounds. The strong connection that the brothers had forged along their journey has always meant that they had a beacon of light guiding them in their most difficult of times. No matter how dark things might be, a hopeful message gleamed through the darkness in the core narrative. Of all the familial connections the brothers had forged over the years, Castile's relationship with the brothers is one I have to highlight. Once just an angel with zero conception of human emotions, he has gone on a massive journey of discovering the beauties of humanity. The love Castile shares with the brothers until the very end when he sacrifices himself to save Dean, confessing his love for him and giving Dean a final message on how happiness is not a single moment but is in fact each moment they share together. One of the most heartbreaking moments within the series, coupled with what came after, a scene made of beauty and yet the loss that the brothers face, from Cass himself to the actions of Chuck raising everyone in the world, puts his sacrifice into a different perspective. His sacrifice ends with the true meaning of hopelessness to the viewers, making them question the reality of what they have seen. Still, at the same time, it also highlights the truest forms of creating a family, not based on blood, but on the love that develops along the way. This profound message, that family is not solely defined by blood, but on the enduring love and loyalty shared among individuals, resonates deeply throughout Supernatural, reminding us, the viewers, that even in our darkest times, the bond we forge can be our greatest source of strength and hope. Chapter 3 Changing Perceptions for a New Supernatural always took some creative liberties in determining what perception should be about the lore within the world of its series. With 15 seasons under their belt, the brothers faced hundreds of monsters, from repeated fantasy creatures like vampires and werewolves to creatures based in folklore from many different cultures worldwide. 
Still, at the heart of the narrative, the deadliest beings the brothers faced were always inspired by religious stories. With demons always been a common enemy since the first season, there was a delicate balance when introducing the other side within the biblical equation, angels. During his early runs, Eric Kripke always set a fine rule by introducing such omnipotent beings that could bring peace to the narrative that they were trying to tell. Angels were beings that if not introduced and executed correctly, would make the entirety of the narrative cheap, knowing that they are heavenly creatures that could stop any conflict the brothers faced with a snap of their finger. So Eric Kripke and his writers decided to draw inspiration from bad omens to create a, di to create a powerfully different approach to these heavenly creatures. Depicting them as soldiers who follow orders no matter the consequences, even if it means wiping out an entire human population. Without any figurative emotions, these creatures become a powerful change in perception, highlighting that even with the help of these angels for the brothers, it doesn't matter. Their fates will never be saved by the angels. This reimagination that the series puts forth for the viewers becomes a constant theme throughout the series. Creatively reinventing elements of folklore and story to fit into the never-ending darkness that the brothers have to face. This leaves behind a huge imprint for the viewers regarding the type of narrative that the series is trying to achieve. A story that changes perception and creates a story that is complex and deep-rooted for the fans to enjoy. Chapter 4 The Meta-Reality That The Series Goes Through Most of the time, no series usually clowns of themselves for the benefit of the viewers. Still, when it comes to a series clowning on their own mistakes, Supernatural is a key example that many can look up to. Over its run, the series manages to pull off many of the greatest examples of meta-reality, as the series decides to make fun on their mistakes while also elevating the narrative for the fans. Changing the narrative style from the more dark and edgy series nature that many episodes uses and turning the narrative genre into a complete 180 allows the viewers to appreciate that the series is unafraid of taking risks in certain episodes each season. Episodes like Changing Channels, The Monster at the End of This Book, The French Mistakes, and Fan Fiction are just small examples within a pool of episodes of how the series can switch off the narrative outline that the series had defined itself by and invite the fans to see a style of narrative and acting that is out of the character within the format that the series has been categorized as. The successful attempt of the series to go full meta in many of the most popular episodes are the reasons why the series was an avid success. From its first initial experiment, when the trickster was introduced during the second season, to the weird meta episodes when it's revealed that the Winchester's adventures have been a book within their own universe, to the full meta episode, The French Mistake, traveling into a reality where Supernatural, mirroring our world, is just a television series. These are the moments the fans will remember other than the biggest threats that the brothers have faced. When a series has so many tragedies and darkness that clouds the narrative, the comedic and meta episodes makes up the lightness, providing the viewers with a certain levity from the things they've witnessed or the darkness to come. Chapter 5 Life on the Road In the first half of the series, Supernatural has a unique way of telling a narrative. Unlike many series, it was not drawn into a specific location on the series' setting. In each episode, the brothers are on the road, going from place to place, hunting monsters, which gives the narrative more creative liberties regarding where each episode takes place. During the second half of the series, while the brothers have finally discovered the place they could eventually call home, the Men of Letters Bunker, each episode still took place in a different setting with the brothers. Instead of investigating cases within the vicinity of the bunker, they kept the style they had defined them as hunters. Since their childhood, these brothers lived without a roof and four walls, staying in motels while they grew up, hunting for monsters with their father. Even now as adults, both brothers, though they grew up in their own respective ways, their ways of living has not changed much. Yet they begin to appreciate that fact, and to the viewers, we get this small comfort, knowing that they, in fact, are never homeless. Their car, or as the fans know it, as the baby, the black Chevy Impala, can take them from one corner of the country to another. Even as they stay at motels during cases, the one constant that defines them within the series has been the black Chevy Impala. The beauty and elegance that it represents becomes the heart of the story. Just two brothers who cling on to each other, living life to their fullest extent as hunters, doing what they were born to do out on the road. Chapter 6 Unafraid to End an Arc for New It is a factual nature that every story has an end. Even if a story ends, however, that doesn't mean that the story of the characters that the readers or the viewers that follow are ever over. The so-called fairy tale ending to many stories is a myth. In many stories, an ending is just another meaning of the beginning. Supernatural is one such series that has many ends of a narrative, only for it to continue due to its popularity. What was supposed to be a 4-5 season vision of a narrative became so much greater, 
with many arcs of stories told over the course of the series. From the initial arc's end of the fight against Lucifer and Michael, to exploring the creatures of old within Purgatory, to the biggest fight the brothers have to face against Darkness and God, these stories are built up over the course of seasons, making each payoff very powerful. Endings are always going to be difficult. How are stories supposed to carry on from the end of one grand arc to another? The myriad of questions that will be left behind in the cause of an end becomes why supernatural stories are so compelling. They have a start and an end, but then they will have a new start that will change the end to a beginning of something new. Chapter 7 The Ending What does it mean for a series to end? Supernatural, as I have mentioned before, has had many endings over the years, always teasing a new adventure for the brothers. But inevitably, the story must end, and the brothers' chapter of fighting monsters and biblical beings must come to a close. The ending of the series becomes a sorrowful one from the get-go. After defeating Chuck and setting humanity free from the narratives that Chuck had created for them, Dean is killed during the brothers' next hunt. This immediately sets the viewers to understand that the end is near. Dean, who had always felt responsible for taking care of Sam no matter the consequences brought upon him, now with Dean's death, Sam is forced to embrace a life that doesn't revolve around his brother protecting him. Both brother in the end find peace, with Dean ending up in heaven and having his own adventures through the multiverse. At the same time, Sam continues the legacy of hunting and raising a family, honoring Dean's memory. At this moment, the two find a certain levity of peace. With each aching scene echoed by the series' unofficial theme song, Carry On My Wayward Son, their adventures comes to a close, as Sam, after living a life without his brother for many years, is reunited once again in heaven, symbolizing that their bonds as brothers will transcend anything, even biblical proportion. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have enjoyed this first part of this Halloween special as there is more to come in the upcoming weeks. If you haven't watched Supernatural yet, which I'm assuming is a minority in my audience, I hope this analysis has inspired you to check it out for yourself. Supernatural is one of those shows that will be timeless. Even during its early seasons, there was the same amount of care and creativity as it had during the back half of the series. Next time on this channel, we shall be covering a series that predates Supernatural but one that had a deeper impact on the supernatural genre than this show, X-Files. So please stay tuned. So if you're looking forward to the second part, please subscribe, leave a like, and share the video with your friends. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And I'll see you soon for another review episode.